back here, way off trail, um, following the course of the Bantam River. And we find sort of a, a hunting blind, a game blind, if you will. I don't know what else to call it. Definitely some kind of structure and a, a massive print. And I'm not surprised because, you know, this place is real spongy. Squatch love to follow the course of rivers for obvious reasons. We go through it all the time. Um, but we found a real interesting structure, a pretty convincing footprint. I mean, that thing was solid oval and it was in there. It's way, it's like three of me. So you're talking 600 pound thing, big. Um, this is a real good place. We showed you where it is, so if you want to get back here, it goes on and on. I'd go back there, but now I don't feel like getting any more mud than I have from the other time and today. The river gets real deep here, so I'm gonna do a howl. I got nothing to tap with. A solid vibe, this place. A lot of noise from the lake. Probably people clearing their leaves, which I don't like, but go ahead and do it. I guess kill the caterpillars, whatever. Kill the beneficial insects. Why not? Have a clean lawn. Awesome. To hell with nature. I want a manicured green lawn. I don't want biodiversity. So go ahead and clean your lawns. That's what we're hearing today. Instead of listening to the crows and... This guy's dying to get muddy. So listen, it's all about getting out there. We love you. Send us your reports. Check us out. Leave some comments. Whether you like or dislike, we can take it. We can take it. It's all about getting out there, people. I'm not going to go down there, but we get to the river there, looks like. Come on. Come on. Come on. Like it might be a nice new fish, a swimming hole here. Yeah. Sandy bottom. Oh yeah. Yeah, I would swim here. This is of course Phantom Lake. Yeah, no. It's a really nice spot here. Looks like it would be really good for fishing and it looks like it'd be pretty decent for swimming here. Of course, this is the Bantam River and that's Bantam Lake. All right, we're gonna get in there further, see if we can salvage the day. And don't roll, I swear to God, don't roll. So where we are is just down the road from Point Folly and um, we took a left by Love Hearts Bakery and the pet place over here and I've never been in here so this looks really promising. 
we found we found this um, because the other trail just stopped and it's just too early for us to stop but this looks really nice let's get in there My pants up. Yeah, first we've always filmed this. Oh. Well, this is a very wide trail. Ridiculously wide, but it's awesome. I think it connects to the Bantam River. That would be really awesome. Well, I just can't get away from fields lately. Man, a real big vehicle since you're here. It's really pretty here. Kind of lucking out today as far as finding nice trails. And I'm finding nice, they start off nice, and then they just sort of stop. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, I bet everyone out there like that, huh? Well, that's awfully darn pretty here. I think I would swim here instead of the other place that I pointed out. Looks to be a real sandy bottom. A little deeper right in there. Yeah. Well, we found some short trails today. Wow, it's awfully pretty here though. This would be a really nice place to go kayaking. On the other side of that bridge, put in paddle through here. Big fish swimming around and over there. They uh, 
This, this lake, Bantam Lake, is a hatchery for northern pike. There's a lot of them in there, some big ones too. Well, um, try another place, camera person. No? No? You don't want to try another place. It's a real nice day though, just to be outside. Now I believe these are winter berries. And they're very, definitely the birds eat these. I never tried one. You know what's gonna happen next, right? What do you mean no? Like that is an acquired taste for sure. <laughs> ah. I like the poke berries much better. That that's wonderful for the bird. It's real ornamental. It was mushy. Real mushy and bitter. It had like a mashed potato-y, bitter mush center, like just mush. And not at all flavorful. Um, so there's that. Don't, don't eat winter berries, you know. Right, let me do these things for you. That's got a lingering aftertaste, like just nasty bitter. Yeah, that's all. What was that right there? Did you get that on film? I, there's fish, there's some big fish right behind that rod. Could be autumn stock trout. Smallmouth bass, I mean, it could be any number of fish, carp. You're not going to have this made into a jelly anytime soon, I can tell you that much. Connecticut Plains. All right, people, I think we're going to find another spot. Yeah. We'll see you out there. We're gonna try one more attempt, attempt at somewhere. Wow, look at this guy. I mean, wow. That is, that is just something else. Well, I'm looking for prints here. I mean, wow. This just, I don't see any prints. Nuts are here. Probably from that tree. Holy moly. Stand up in here, no problem. I can look out here, and there's game trails out that way. And I have no problem standing up in here. Wow. Wow, that thing. I don't know what to make of that. That is just so cool. I've never seen anything quite like that. We're off trail back here. Yeah, something to do this trail right here. Right here, right here. There's a big footprint right here. Coming right through here. 
they're close together. So I don't know, it could be there. They're really close together. When they're close together like that, I have to think quadrupede, four legs. So if this was a squatch, I mean, here we go, here's the stripe. But here, but here, that's that's awkward for me. Now, this is clearly quadrupede. Unless there was two of them walking behind each other. In which case, That could be happening. Oh, wow. Okay, you know what? I'm loving this place. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a solid five, man. Back there. Back there, it's pretty dense. But well, we talked about navigating off trail. Let's give it a try. We're gonna follow the course of the river and we're gonna get back to our structure here. From here, look at that, that's crazy. That is a complete, that's a complete game blind. By blind, you mean so they can't see you behind it. I've never seen anything quite like that. All right, let's follow this river a little bit. Tracks. Look at that big one in the water right there. I mean, those are deer tracks. That guy? Oh, that's probably deer. There's only one of them. Now, what will happen is the tracks will get, you know, flowing water. It's going to get filled with sediment. And there's a lot of really fine sand here. But it looks like a good place to cross. You can see where they're going on the other side over there, right? It's pretty shallow. Right there, it's pretty... It's pretty fast right there. I wouldn't want to cross right there, but here, and then you go on the other side. And let's see, they appear to be heading that way. Somebody in a white car checking us out, but that's all right. Probably not used to seeing people back there. I can see the track. They're coming right through here. Oh man, so I'm a squatch. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm definitely going to utilize that. They're coming through here. You get right over there, and I got you, man. I got you good. And uh, if you think squatches are vegetarians, yeah, they're not. Another one right here. I'm guessing a lot of deer cross here. And then, boom, boom, you're in the woods again. Came across this here. So, that's pretty oval shaped. That's cool. Well, that there's some kind of big print and where there's one print, there's more. That's in there deep. Whatever that was, was heavy. Here's me, nothing. Bounces right back. Well, I would make a cast, but all of this stuff is gonna not let it make a good cast. All of this hay or straw, whatever this is. But boy, that, that appears to actually go back further. It's gigantic. something okay 
and this stuff is really bouncy. Something sank in pretty deep like right this. Another one right here. Something's traveling through here. Okay, things are coming, definitely coming together here. This is a big game trail. Big things are moving through here. Well, if it went on the sandbar, let me stop him. Stop. If it went on the sandbar, it should have left print. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got prints here. You see them? Those are deer prints. I see waterfowl prints. Um, man, there's a lot of prints on this sandbar. I'm gonna get on here, try not to mess up these prints. Oh, whoa, I'm not going on there. Okay, bad idea. Yeah, I'm not going on there. So, as I walked on here, I almost sank in. I could tell I was going to go easily three feet in there. And so if you're a bear, plus upright primate in North America, you might not want to walk on there because you don't know if there's any kind of roots poking up and you start sinking on that, you could really mess up your feet or your paws really bad. Um, look at how far the deer sank in. I would love to get on there, but I know what happened. I had enough mud last time out. Thank you very much. That's okay. And I would love to get back there further, but looks like we came to a standstill. But man, that print was pretty impressive. It's, it's kind of spongy stuff, so I was kind of lucky to find that one, but I could tell things are definitely moving through here. A lot of things, a lot. There's no hunting in this white memorial, so. You're going to have a lot of wildlife here. I'm going to have to get in here on a kayak and just get back in there. Some of the other boat launches are so crowded with people, it's just not even fun. But this, you could do a kayak. I could probably do my canoe. Maybe we'll get out before winter on the lakes or this river. Well, let's, let's, I don't know. Let's continue our search here. Came across here. Oh, it came across here. Well, we are back where probably most people don't go. Well, there are just some really crazy heavy footprints here. Here. There's a runoff through here.
Well, the river just got real deep. It's shallow, and now it's got to be a good, well, probably over your head, good seven, eight feet deep. I don't know what to make of this place. It just is gnarly. There's game trails everywhere right here. This is something different. This ain't deer. Uh, yeah, it is. Maybe. It's hard to tell. Could be. If it was a snapping turtle, you'd see that tail line where it dragged its tail. And you'd see the claws. Boy, it's a good bet. Sorry. If it was a snapping turtle, you'd see where the tail was dragging, making a line, and then you would see the claws sort of fishing out to the side. Um, it would be, I would take a bet that if you wanted to fish this deep section of river, you're gonna catch something in there because nobody's back here. And it just drops off deep and it slows down. Wow. Well, it's a really nice day. It's a pretty place. So look at this cattail here. This is a cattail plant. The root is edible. You can use that pod thing that makes all the fuzzies. You stick the tip through a bottle and then you pack some of that stuff in and you can filter water through that if you find a soda bottle. Just let the water drip through, it'll come out perfectly clear. You could drink this water through a filter like that. This, this plant is being displaced um, by those tall fronds that you see Phragmites. Phragmites is um, an invasive plant. There is one native species. The Phragmite that you see everywhere in Connecticut in the waterways is from Australia. And it is very aggressive and it's taken over waterways. It's pushing this beautiful cattail out. And uh, it's a biological desert in there. The only things that seem to utilize that are red-winged blackbirds, which are awesome. And some deer will nest inside the Phragmites, but it's a biological desert. They're kind of terrible. I know people sort of like them. They look good. That's why they were introduced. Um, but they're like Japanese knotweed. They're just doing a lot of damage. And uh, I'd rather see these cattails. Of course, this cattail is, you know, the, the, the flowering part is dead now. But um, I'd rather see these than those Phragmites any day. Well, we found a big print. We had a fun day. We showed you definitely where not to hike. <laughs> um, and we're gonna start, we're gonna squatch a meter this. I'm gonna go because of the blind, because of that, that print, I'm gonna go a solid five back here. Absolutely, this is part of the White Memorial. There are a couple of houses on the other side. A little bit back in there. You might have a darn good chance of seeing a squatch back here. I'm, I'm pretty convinced what I found back there was some kind of game blind. If you, let us know what you think. If you think it's just natural and I'm a, you know, I'm a buffoon, let me know. I can take it. I got a thick skin. I was on stage for 30 years. But if you think it's something interesting, throw a comment. We love that stuff. We love interacting with you. We've been getting some reports. I told you about the stuff from the Farmington watershed area. It's great stuff. It's a lot like the one we got from Harwinton. Um, but it's a gorgeous day. I can't believe we're getting weather like this in late November. I was going to work, but my customer called it off. And I'm glad she did because we got out there. And that's what it's all about, getting out there. So next time I go to a place like this where no one belongs, I want to see you there before me. Um, send us some videos, you know, show us your places. Let's make this interesting. We love the people that are in our group and our team members. So, um, just throw some stuff our way. We're gonna enjoy this river. You have a nice day, everybody. You can see, 
that's another oval print about as deep and about as big as the other one it's in the same path They're clearly a game trail going through here You're in the light, honey. It's pretty big. And it's in the same line as the other ones. And if you ask me, I'm seeing It looks like this would be the heel area because it's deeper. And I would say the toes would be about here. This clearly to me is a heel print. You can see the water, so it's much deeper. And so I would be guessing it's doing something like that. But bigger. A big foot. A big foot. I would say it's probably much bigger than it looks because a lot of this doesn't leave an impression. Um, so let me speculate. You're coming through here. You left those very large prints, at least three of them. There's probably more, but it's hard to tell. And you're following the river. And maybe you're going to go hang out at that structure we found back there. Um, very squatchy place. I think we're going to get out of here because we are literally standing in a swamp. Can't make cast. It's unfortunate, but that's pretty compelling footprint to me. It's a... Uh... Oh. So we're in... We're in oaks. These are oak leaves. And uh, Buck Fever was telling me that he had noticed that there are very few acorns this year. Um, of course, we don't have any chestnuts. They're working on bringing those back. But um, the animals are gonna have a tough time this year. There is not a lot of nuts on the ground or acorns. It's from that frost we had. Um, I was talking to some of the vineyard owners and uh, one, one in Massachusetts lost 100% and another one in our area lost 60% of their grapes. Um, so it's kind of a, it's going to be a tough winter for these animals. It's all, and uh, they're going to have a hard time fending off the predators this year. I kind of feel for it. So far it's not too cold, so that's good. All right. Well, we'll see you on another episode. We got muddy, but boy, did we get some great stuff today. Three prints and a structure, like a hunting structure, all in this little area following the Bantam River. So we might have ended up in fields, but apparently this is where the action is. So <laughs> we love you. We'll see you out there. Get out there yourself.